Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined here today by Larry Bobcut in the Second Swing at Minnetonka putter fitting bay here in the tour van yep. with Quintech Technology. Um, we've got a couple things to go over today. I'm really excited about this because my new putter is here. Uh, it's the Odyssey AI1 uh, Cruiser Jailbird. Yeah, because you're going to benefit from this video. I, yeah, I am. And that's why I'm the most excited yeah, about it. Yeah, well, I'm blaming. Um, but also, the sort of the trend, you know, of, of these longer putters. I know we're re really excited about it here at Second Swing, but you've been fitting golfers into these types of, you know, there's the Cruiser lineup from Odyssey. There's um, a bunch of other options out there right. for manufacturer that are kind of longer than the standard 35 inches. Right. Um, so what are the benefits that golfers are getting out of this? In well, the, in you know, I think you kind of have to look at the history of, you know, kind of where did this putter come from? You know, back in the day when we could anchor yeah. into our belly, yeah. you know, those putters were about 41, 42 inches long. You'd put, them, you'd put it in your, in your belly button and, and you'd putt with it. Well, you know, I think then everybody kind of went short because of the USGA ruling. Yeah. And now it's kind of like, all right, well... Let's find an alternative way to putt. I mean, you know, we did a podcast about this. I mean, hey, if you're playing good golf and you're striking it really good and you're not putting well, there's alternative ways to putt. Um, yeah. To me, this gives you another opportunity to strike the ball solidly and make some putts. I mean, one of the things, again, from the podcast, we talked about what's the biggest problem with most people that come in here. It's over acceleration. It's mm -hmm. a short backswing and it's a long follow through. They control the distance that are putts with their follow through and then they never strike it the same way twice. Right. The advantage of these, this is a bigger, heavier putter. This, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of wants to swing itself. Yeah. You know, and that's what you've seen with on tour where these guys are out there, the best players in the world. They know they need to swing the putter the best they can to make putts. Well, you know, so the trend kind of started. Have had a lot of interest, a lot of people coming in. You know, I, I just see we got our, we just got our shipment of of jailbirds <laughs> yep. in today. So, um, you know, that that's going to pique even a little bit more interest this weekend. Um, but it's 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 a good way to go. It's a yeah. good way to try. I mean, what's the sense? You know, I mean, what's the definition of insanity? Trying to do the same thing over right. and over again yeah. with and expecting different results. Yeah. Well, here's something that you know potentially is going to give you different results. Yeah, and for me, you know, I have the I have the account for Arcos. You know, it's got the right. um, statistics and, and tracking for the kind of the four major parts of the game. There's you know off the tee approach, short game putting. And for me, putting's the worst statistic. I lose shots putting compared yeah. to others of my handicap. Right. Um, so it's cool that Arcos has that feature, but also it tells me I need to get better at putting. Um, so I'm gonna try this. And it's kind of like what you're saying. I've, I've, I haven't been a plus putter for my handicap right. really ever. So might as well try something. Well, and it's also too, you, you know, think about it. You know, is, is the golfing public, you know, hey, everybody plays golf from juniors to on the seniors and, yeah. but hey, if I've got a little bit of back issue, I got a longer putter now, mm -hmm. I can stand over, I can practice it more. You know, it, it has a lot of advantages, mm -hmm. okay? Does it have some disadvantages? Yeah, maybe, you know, for the for the player that, you know, still wants to stroke it correctly. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not a good putter if you want to try to have a short back swing. It, because it really does kind of make you, right. it creates a swing for you. Yeah. So, And most of these putters are not built for a strong arc really either. There's a few maybe out right. there, but right. traditionally most of them are pretty face, face balanced. Face balanced because you do, you want to stand up to it a little bit more. You want to get a little bit closer. You want the yeah. putter to do the work. You know, usually the someone that's going to an alternative style of putting has too much face rotation in their in their stroke. Yeah. So they're trying to limit the face rotation. So thus, hey, we've got a bigger, heavier grip. We've got yep. a face balance putter. Uh, it, mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of all the things that should, you know, theoretically go, boy, I'm gonna hit solid putts. Yeah, yeah. So this is gonna be fun then, as we mentioned. Okay. I'm gonna get fit for my putter. So I ordered this, this is the AI1 Cruiser Jailbird. Yep. I ordered that 39 inches. I got kind of the stock Odyssey right. grip here. Um, so right. otherwise then loft length, lie angle, and really any other recommendations you might have. Well, and I think lengthwise, I think you made the right choice. Why not order it longer? Yeah. Okay, because you're gonna go down on the grip to find out where you're comfortable. 
So if there's two or three inches putter above your hands, that's fine. Yeah. You know, kind of counterba counterbalance. That's kind of the whole the point field. of the design. It's a whole yeah, it's a whole point of the design. It doesn't make any sense to order it at 37 or 38 and then be at the end of the grip. Right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. kind of pointless. So yeah. well, why don't we hit a couple putts? Okay. Let's see what you have. And you know, we I've seen your stroke before. It's it's okay. Okay, well, I, I, I think I appreciate that. <laughs> you know, it's a Friday snowy morning, Drew. You don't get much more than that yeah. from me. Hey, we were, the fact that we're here, it's already great. Uh, you know? I know. All right, so let's just see what you do with it. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, so there's a pretty good roll. There's a pretty good stroke. And, okay, Drew, we're not going to do a darn thing to your putter. <laughs> Because as you know, in is in the past, you know, Quintex kind of like a stoplight. Yeah. Red means stop. We need to fix everything. The yellow is kind of like keep an eye on it. Green is go. So now we've got a putt where you've launched it absolutely perfectly at 1.16. It has tons of overspin in 74. And it's got eight RPMs of draw spin, which is 10 or less is considered perfect. So you pretty much hit a perfect putt. All right. That's... I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, I, what's the point of the video then, right? Well, yeah, what's the point of the video? <laughs> now, if we're gonna now let's, let's, let's hit a couple, okay. let's hit let's a couple say, more. One putt. You yeah, know. let's hit a couple more. Right. Let's grab that golf ball and let's see what happens. But here's, here's the thing though. Here's the initial, and this is kind of what we see, is all of a sudden somebody who's, who has struggled with a short putter now all of a sudden steps up to this goes, okay, I've got a bigger, longer, heavier putter. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to swing it. I'm going to allow it that. All of a sudden, it gets better. Yeah. You know, the whole idea of making putts is trying to make a better putting stroke at it. It's about the process. Yes. You know, you're talking, you're talking about we're trying to do, you're trying to do a perfect thing on an imperfect surface. Yeah. Okay. You've got grass. You've got, you know, you've got ball marks. You've got spike marks. If you're soft greens. You got groups in front of you. I mean, the only way you're going to make putts is by hitting it with those kind of numbers at the right speed. Yep. Okay. And then you just have to accept the results. Yeah. But the more and more you do that, the more and more the ball's going to mm -hmm. go in the hole. I like that. It's minus three on the RPM for uh, minus for hook, three on the RPM. I mean, hook spin? That, okay. So that's slight. So, that's very slight hook spin. Okay. So right. a really good friend of mine is Derek Ueda, who teaches Xander Shoffley, Max Homa okay. putting. Okay. So I get those. I get those guys' numbers all the time. That's every bit as good as Homa <laughs> and Shoffley. Don't. Yeah. But see, but you can do. People won't realize. I mean, it's the thing that you can do in golf, as well as a tour player. There's no reason that you can't putt. It doesn't take any physical strength. We have all the we have all the information. We have all the tools available yeah. to help you putt better. So the one thing you can do as an average player is putt just as well as a tour player. Okay? You gotta put the time in. You gotta get fit. Okay, which still to this day, you know, I'm four and a half years at, at second swing and it still amazes me how many people come in. And still haven't been fit for a putter. They'll do the drivers, the irons. They'll do the driver all day long, and they have no idea how their golf ball's rolling. Yeah. And this is forty percent of the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. We didn't check the loft and lie. I want to check the loft and lie for okay. you, just to see what. Okay. Just see, see what it is. See what it is. Yeah. Okay. So it's four. It's four and seventy. Okay. Which is stock. Yeah. Okay. Let's hit it again. Okay. I mean. How does this feel? Here, well, so this here, is a, here's the thing. Yeah. How does this feel compared to the short putter? Because well, we've, we've worked before with short putters, yeah. and you've always felt like the putters always kind of wandered on you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, and I've, I've used the most forgiving putter head, the Ping Harwood. You know, right. that yep. thing yep. is massive, right? Yeah. Um, and Looks like a battleship. Looks like a battleship. To me, it's just, it's so much easier. There right. is the it's stable that's really yep. the what the best way to put it um it's actually interesting that you noted the loft is four because i had been i'm used to three degrees yep and i think i even at one point played before that at two and a half right um and so 
going up and loft is interesting because I'm looking at where this ball is at A, the launch, and B, the start of the forward rotation is happening right away. Yeah, immediately. That's, that's cool to see. Well, the other thing, too, is think about this. Okay, you know, it's kind of like I've got a heavier putter in now. The putter's kind of guiding. You got to remember, you know, everybody thinks that when a PGA Tour player hits the ball, their putter's accelerating. It's actually not. When it makes contact with the golf ball, their putter head slows down. Okay, they're trying to create constant back, constant through, which causes for a more constant strike. Okay, and we know the better you strike it time after time, the more putts yeah. you're going to make. Okay, there's no excel. That, you can't really accelerate that putt. Correct. Yeah, it's, the tougher. Other thing, it's tougher to do that. Yeah, the other thing, too, is because of the weight, it keeps your hands moving better. What, what's one of the problems that people run into in short putters? They stop and they flip. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to flip that. Yeah. I mean, if you flip that, you're going to hit the back of the, you're going to hit the back of the, that putter on the green. Right. Right. You're right? going to do one of these. So it, yeah. So it's going to keep your hand. I mean, so there's so many advantages to, for it. Okay. Yeah. Does it work for everybody? No. Okay. No. You know? I got, I've got one of my own prototypes in my hand. You know, I putted with it. I putted fine with it. Will I take out and putt? Absolutely not. Because, you know, I've putted with a blade putter for so many years at 35 inches that it's just, it, 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 for me to look at something, it's just uncomfortable for yeah. me to look at. Yeah. Okay. And I've been looking at a crazy looking mallet for a while. So You've this been is, looking at a crazy is, this mallet. This isn't anything different from But me. I've putted, you know, the reason I played well, I've played good golf my entire life is because I can make a bunch of putts. Yeah. Oh, I know. You're the you're the op <laughs> you're the op you're the opposite. Yeah. Okay. You know, and there's a lot of people that are the opposite. So why not again? Why not look at an alternative? Yeah. So let's try this again. Yeah. The goal here is to be at the level of putting that Larry okay. Bob can. So, well, here's what I'd like you to do on this one. I don't even want this one to get to the hole. I, you can really? leave it okay. short. Because I want to see what I want to see what happens when you slow the putter down. Okay. So even like halfway there, almost. Yeah, even just like halfway there. There you go. Okay, that's important because I want to make sure that you don't throw the putter head, and you absolutely did. In fact, you even created more overspin. Okay. Okay. So you did you did a great job maintaining that, and that's. What do people, most people don't come in and say, oh, you know, my lag putting's terrible, blah, blah, blah. I can't make a three footer. I yeah. can't make a four footer. Okay. Well, you just put a fabulous roll on basically a four foot putt. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you do that all summer, you know, we need to reconvene in a couple months and find out how your putting's going. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you, you're going to make more putting. Okay. So what does this do? Now it instills confidence. Yep. Now Drew is going to walk out of here going, man, I've hit, I, I, I've never rolled the ball any better on Quintec no. than I have right now. Okay. And we've done virtually nothing to the putter. Yeah. Most people, you know, it's a little bit of a lie adjustment. It's a little bit of a loft adjustment. But for you, this could be, this could be your savior. You know, I, that's, this, that's, this could yeah. be, this could be the thing that all of a sudden, where, you know, I always look at a, a confidence scale from one to 10. Yeah. Okay. If Drew's always been at two, let's get Drew to six or seven. Yeah. How much better are you going to putt? How much, how much more excited are you going to be after you hit a nice drive and a nice iron shot in there yeah. and you got a 10, 12 footer, man, you're excited to go right. roll it. Or what, it's even the, the five, six footer saving par. But that I'm what you can't about. do, though, is you just have to maintain the process. You have to go there and just feel like you mm -hmm. stroke it because you cannot try to force the golf ball in the hole. Okay, mm -hmm. because then you're going to just revert back to where you were. What you need to do is just concentrate. And we've talked about this in the past. Three most important things are speed, speed and speed. Okay. Everything revolves around your ability to hit the putt the right speed. Uh -huh. But now, with some practice with this new putter and the way you're striking it, your speed control should go from here to here. Interesting. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. 
You know, that's the whole that's the whole reason to get your Quintech numbers good. Yeah. Get your Quintech numbers consistent because then your speed gets consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, and really, you know, this is you know this is from this is from a dinner one night at Brad Faxon's house after a few bottles of wine. Sure. You know, we broke it down. What do you got to do to putt well? I got to line my putter up on the intended line. I got to get my body into a comfortable position, and I have to roll the ball the right speed. Yeah. Okay. That's so, what you guys are coming so, up with after so, some wine. Yeah. So if <laughs> I can line that, so if I can line that up, and you can get more comfortable because it's longer, and now you can roll at the right speed because you can. It, it's a home run. Yeah. You know, and that's why. Why wouldn't you try this? So, and the cool thing about this is, now, granted, this is like not even really a fitting. It's more of a conversation, conversation <laughs> slash confirm that it's the, right. it's it's right for me. And now I know I, I I was already gaining confidence just holding this thing and and yeah. setting up, but now that I see the green right. numbers on Quintech, I know I'm going to go out on the course okay. and so I'm feeling uh, pretty confident. Okay. I'll say that. So I'm going to give you I'm going to give you one of my fun tests. Okay. That I make everybody do. That comes through here. Yep. You set up and you tell me, you tell me when you're ready to hit it. Are we going to the hole? Yeah, we're going to go to the hole. If right. it doesn't get there, that's fine. You ready to go? I am. Close your eyes and hit it. Ooh, okay. Well, Michael Jordan at the free throw line? Yeah, close your eyes and hit it. Center cut. That putter works. <laughs> that was good. That's good. That putter works. All right. Well, because now, now you take the visual out. Yeah. Now you take the, I want to watch the ball go in the hole, and now it's just your brain and your hands working. Well, right yeah. now, your brain and your hands are working pretty good with that thing. Yeah. That's good. I like that. Yeah, no. Maybe I'll pull my eyes closed all the time. Well... <laughs> It just proves it just proves how much your head needs to stay still. Yeah, that's you true. know I had a guy in here yesterday that you know the death of putting is this mm. the head going backwards yeah, because yeah. then the putter comes up. Okay, and again I can't do that. If I did that with that putter, you'd hit the back of the putter on right. the on the green. So again, kind of forces you forces you into a stroke. I mean, it's just like somebody who goes long. I mean, you're forced. You're, right. You're right. you're forced into a stroke, right? Yeah. So maybe this is a stroke that we've been looking for your entire life. Yeah. You know. Seriously. I, young, you're the young, young life, not old life. Well, now I'm, so it, it stinks that it's, it snowed overnight because I kind of want to go play <laughs> golf now. But, uh, but what you need to do is you need to keep working on it. You, yeah. you got to, now you got to get the feel. You got to get the feel for distance. It's going to feel different. The ball's rolling so much mm -hmm. better. The roll, ball's rolling with, so much overspin for you now that your speed is going to be easier. It's going to take less effort to get the ball to the hole. So it does take time. You know, it's like, hey, we've got magical numbers here, yeah. right? And we're beautiful and the confidence level's but high. But now is, you got to get out. Now you got to yeah. get outside and you got to get comfortable with speed from three feet, 23 yeah. feet, 33 feet, 40, you know, and figure out how this is going to work. But this is, you know, this is everything you want in the putter fit. Yeah. You know, this so is, question we, for you. Sure. Uh, at how often or at what point would somebody come back in? Like, because I know with golf swings, they change a lot. Right. Is somebody going to come in and like their putting stroke changes or does that not really happen as much? What I putter? like to do, especially so if you, if you were a customer and you went from a short putter and we found this magic right here yeah. with this long. Part. This is, I mean, that's what happened. I would, I would like you to come back in about four to six weeks. Okay. In confirm numbers, just come back in, hit a few, that. hit a few putts for me. Yeah. See what's going on, and if you, and thus, if you know, if we get a chance to play in those four to six weeks, tell me about how it is on the. Yeah. Tell them, you know, are, are we reading? Are we are we feeling like we're hitting our lines on the breaking putts? Are we struggling with anything on long or short putts? You know, that's the conver that's the follow up conversation, okay. especially when you're changing your style. Okay, so when I change a style for some, you know, um, you know, our guy that we've done some stuff with more, um, Mitch out of Waconia. Okay, mm -hmm. great player. Yeah. Really good player, you know, Hazeltine Club champion, Island View Club yeah. champion, 
Well, he's gone. He's gone to the. He's gone to the lab. Oh yeah. Okay. He's gone to that. Well, the broomstick. He's gone to the broomstick. Came in. We had good numbers in here. Went down. Took it down to Florida, and he played, goes. I just putted terrible with it. Okay. Well, again, you know, I've had some text conversations. Going to get him back in and say, okay, so what's going? So it, you know, it. It's kind of like going to the doctor. It requires it's, it's, a it's an ongoing conversation. This is ongoing this is a great this is a great first step, obviously. Right. But um, right. you know, now it's the next part is confirming it on the golf course, which is how it is with any yeah. Golf thing. No, so, absolutely. Uh, but no, I think I, I think this is a home run. I think it's I think it's a it, I think it's a great opportunity. I you know, hey, I always look at things this way for so many things that so many things that I've done for so many years on tour. If it works on the PGA Tour, it works. Yeah. Okay. You usually don't. You don't usually see things that work that a PGA Tour player two or three or five or ten haven't haven't tried and haven't had success with. Yeah. So so the concept works. Yep. That's the num. To me, that's the that's the validation of the concept mm -hmm. is that it's being used at the PGA Tour level. Right. And being used at the PGA Tour level with success. Yeah, I think that's. I mean, that's what drew me to this in the first place. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's that to me that's always been validation for yeah. a golf club. Well, sweet. Um, all right, I got my putter. Perfect. I love that. Awesome. I, I didn't really do a whole lot of fitting per se, but I appreciate the insight on the putter and um, well, and some. And, and some uh, I mean, know. honestly, sometimes the fittings it's that simple. Yeah. You know, I, where somebody grabs a putter that you know. Hey, their putter is so different than what they've what they've had in the past. And you grab something and they hit it and they look at you and I'm like, you know what, we're done. All right. You know? Well, I thank you for coming in. Now <laughs> now it's now it's yeah. time now it's time to take it out to the real yeah. world, oh, like yeah. we said, and get comfortable with it. Sweet. Well, I got my putter. Sweet. And if you're interested in uh, getting your own, you know, longer length putter, something like this, maybe even the broomstick that we talked about. Come in right here to a second swing tour van, get fit with someone like Larry. We'll get you dialed in. You'll see your Quintech numbers and you'll have some more confidence on the greens. So Larry, Absolutely. thank you again. You're welcome.